Crystal's method. Um, this video is going to be about how to put on your prosthesis for those um, who either are not aware of or inquiring. Because I know when I had lost my legs, I had did a lot of seeking and there wasn't many that I had come across that were helpful. Hopefully, hopefully my will be a little bit informative for you. And this is the process of how it goes. I'm a, I'm a double amputee. One's above the knee and one's below the knee. A, K, and B, K. And what I'm going to do is show you how they get put on. And I'm not going to do so much of the walking aspect of it, but I will give um, a piece of advice with on how to um, walk with it. Because it... it it's hard when you have them both different to to get a grip of it because it's like those um, clowns that walk on those big stilts. It's really scary. So this is three years now. I've lost my legs. All of the details are un irrelevant at this point. My purpose is to be helpful with what I'm trying to uh, to accom accomplish. Okay. So the one that is below the knee is more easier to be able to be independent. Um, I was kind of upset when they had did my amputation because the first one, I lost one, and then a month later I, they did the other one. And when they did the other one, they went above the knee, and I wanted them to match. I was really upset. And I understand now why, because I would not have any kind of independence. So there's this... I'm not sure the professional name for them, but they look like a penis rubber, really. <laughs> but um, this one has the screw. The other one is um, a little different, and I'll show you. But um, some notes, like I've tried, they're very hot and they get very sweaty. So I have learned baby powder doesn't work. It clumps up a lot, and it's really nasty. But I have this thing where I take paper towels and I can wrap it around my leg um, and then put my rubber on and it absorbs and it makes such a huge difference because your leg will completely slip off, believe it or not, from having too much sweat. And and it also, like, when you take it off, it'll actually, like, pour out, like, a cup of water when it gets to be too bad. So... If you have prosthesis, they kind of show you how to do it, but I'm just going to do it kind of quickly. <laughs> so this one is, again, below the knee, which is a lot more easier to use. I got my no my, my toes painted today. <laughs> um, I have black legs, and just to mind you, I am a white girl, and I got shot by a cop, so... You know, the scenario is kind of comical. But we're not going to get into those details. And it, this, it connects. Hold on, it's been a hot minute since so I put them on. <laughs> um, no. Oh, yeah, and mine are kind of broken, but it's, a, it's supposed to make this noise, but mine has, there we go. And then the other one, this one looks like a real, a real rubber. <laughs> um, you got to keep them clean because I actually have a huge sore on my leg from just, you can feel every grain of sand and um, it's very uncomfortable. But, and if you have an amputee that is above the knee, it is a lot of... Um, touch and go, but